Nothing? I got a little something something. I don't know if I should say. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of Diablo 4. Hope you all have a fantastic Saturday. I hope you all have a great weekend planned. This is going to be a short video, and then later I have a second video that will be dropping on Last Epoch Dev Chat 78. Diablo 4. We all know once this game drops, it is going to suck the oxygen out of every single gaming room. It is going to be huge. It is going to be a behemoth. That is why I've been covering all the leaks and rumors for the game. And today I have an update for those rumors. Now, I always say, take it with a grain of salt. I'll be streaming on Twitch and people will be like, hey, what do you think of the official date of Diablo launching in April? And I will always say that is not official. Those are just rumors. Blizzard hasn't said crap yet. And now we're going to check out an update to this rumor. It's going to be a very short video. And honestly, this update has kind of big ramifications for another game that I love. Okay, listen, Diablo 4 reveals at the Game Awards likely June release now being rumored well what in the world happened eager for some fresh diablo 4 news well it seems you should be marking the game awards on your calendar according to a rel reliable insider tom henderson diablo 4 will have a presence at jeff Keeley's annual extravaganza with information on the game's opening beta and possibly even a release date slash window being revealed Jez Corden, who has previously leaked details about Diablo 4, claims that the open beta date, pre-orders, and collector's edition details are the most likely thing we'll learn. So, yes, I made a video saying that we're likely going to get the information before the Game Awards, and that is still possible. Okay, listen to this. Just can't wait until the Game Awards on December 8th for the reveals. Well, again, according to Henderson, a number of journalists and influencers have had the opportunity to go hands-on with Diablo 4, and the embargo on their present impressions will expire the day before. So there's a chance we get tons of information on December 7th, and then we get the release date, the collector's edition, all the info on D4 on December 8th, live for the Game Awards. So that's kind of like best case scenario, okay? Because it kind of gives us a lot of time to get that information. And by the way, on my Twitch, linked in the description, we will be live streaming the Game Awards. It's always fun. We have a couple drinks. We talk about what we vote for, make fun of all the new games. It's normally a good time. So if you want to come by my Twitch, we will be live streaming it. Okay, so the reason why you clicked on this video, the new rumor, the new release window. Why is it important? Finally, we return to Jez Corden, who previously indicated Diablo 4 would launch in April of 2023, which was reported by me on my YouTube. He's now saying that April may have represented the earlier end of the game's potential launch window and that the game could launch as late as June 2023. Of course, take this all with a grain of salt for now. Henderson almost always delivers on the goods. Corden, not so much. So perhaps take the rumors about the game's awards a bit more seriously than the June release date. So I guess Henderson is normally always spot on with his leaks and rumors and Corden, not so much. So why is this important? OK, first off, I know tons of people, millions of gamers are eager to get their hands on Diablo 4. And obviously, the earlier it comes, the better, because it has such hype behind it. Now, for me, I have recently been reporting that the delay of last Epoch 090 might be kind of the final nail in the coffin, even though I don't want to believe that because Diablo is coming in April. Now, if 090, the highly anticipated multiplayer update for Last Epoch comes March 9th and Diablo 4 comes in June, that's going to give a solid three months for LE to build that player base and to sell those ARPGers on their game which that has always been my fear, is that with so much competition, nobody is going to give Last Epoch a try. Well, that might change if D4 comes in June. So it's really, really big news for at least for me, for my community, and for the Last Epoch gamers out there. So just wanted to put that out there. We will see. December 8th, 
Dude, if there's no Diablo news on December 8th, that's going to be pretty wild. That will be pretty wild. So that's the news. Told you it's going to be a pretty short video. I want to know your opinions. Does this even matter? Do you care if it's March or April? Do you care if it's June? Will you be here watching the Game Awards? Give me your general thoughts in the comment section below. Two asks at the end of this video. Ask number one. I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. Hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it, but I truly mean it only if you think I deserve it. Ask number two. Check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 52 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. Weekly blog post, weekly podcast, access to the VIP lounge so you can chit chat with me every day. Special title, chance to win custom merch, and depending on what level you sign up as, other goodies. First link in the description. That's all I've got. D4 in June. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out.